I am back again for another video. The reason that I've been taking so much time in between videos is number one, probably a lot, a lot of it has to do with my laziness. The other part of it has to do with not very exciting things happening with the car. Most of which I've already shown you guys what we've done to the car as far as painting the interior, primering the roof, you know, getting the quarter panels welded on, putting the seat in there, putting the motor back in, getting the motor started and running and driving. And other than that, we have finished the quarter panels. The quarter panels are sanded down and primered up. It's gonna be a very big day for the EG. Huge thank you to my boss for letting me use the shop and for letting me come in super early to get this car. Well, I guess you're just gonna have to wait to see what this car's gonna get. Yeah, and it's been so long that I don't even know if I've showed you guys this yet or not, but I kinda dyed my hair. All right, so this is the shop that I work at. There's the front bumper, not done yet more trimming to be done brand new fender machine moto radiator the roof is in the process of being sanded and there is the finished quarter panels now just to be sure it does stick out quite a bit because what we did is we basically treated the replacement path quarter panel as an over fender instead of cutting it out and putting it exactly we just took the quarter panel, cut a rough estimate of how the quarter panel would sit, and then just set this on top. So it did. It does sit out a little bit wider, which means in the future, when we wanna run a little bit more aggressive of a wheel, we can do that. I'm gonna run you guys down of what we're gonna do. We're going to wipe this car down completely. We have all the materials to wipe it down. We're gonna wipe this thing down, make it really, really clean. We're gonna take off this back glass. We're gonna take these tail lights out. We're gonna finish sanding the roof, and then we're gonna take 320 grit sandpaper and sand this entire body. We're going to take the fenders off and the front bumper off. And then once we're done sanding it, we're going to take a red scuff pads and then scuff the entire thing. The doors, the quarter panels. Before we do any of that, the quarter panels have to be block sanded. So we have to take some of this guide coat, which is that black stuff, and we have to take a block sander with 400 grit sandpaper and sand this down to really smooth it out. And then that's when we can start taking our 320 red scuff pad and going over this whole thing. Once that's done, then we wipe down the car very, very diligently one last time, and then that is when we will tape it off and paint it. So gotta make the YouTube return 2019, baby. <laughs> She's almost ready. So right now the entire car is masked off. I just have to wait for some cleaning agent to dry and then go through, tack the car, make sure there's no dust. And then once that happens, then I can go ahead and put sealer over the car, which will cover any last minute imperfections that are in the paint. Currently we're making pretty good progress. Right now we're working on the junkyard fender that I got over there, fixing, doing a little body work on that. We got the ABS plastic over there, which we're gonna work on on a later date. Right now, Frank is in the booth. Frank is the one with the LS240. Right now he's got a Mustang GT that he completely painted, looks freaking crazy. Right now he's in there primering one of the brand new fenders and the bumper. So the car is currently teal, we are just waiting to clear everything at once. So we're going to paint, we're gonna have to primer that, let that sit, sand the primer down, prep that fender, throw it in there, seal that fender, paint everything with color, and then clear everything at once, let it bake, and then when it comes out, we can put it, start putting it together. And um, other than that, we just gotta wait for a hood, put the mirrors back on, the rear bumper on, um, and then after that, it's just like little mechanical stuff, so. Made a lot of good progress today. I came in at 12 o'clock today and it is now currently almost five. Everything is painted except for the hood. 153 degrees in there. How was it? Holy it's beans. It's out there. Yeah, it sure is. Holy, oh my, yeah, fuck that. The car and all the parts are currently baking. Everything is clear coated and painted. It looks really good. Currently at work. I got about like three more hours to go. I'm dying, I've been up since 6.30 yesterday morning. I haven't slept since. I am delirious, I'm tired. I wanna go home and park the EG in the garage and call it a day. So we're currently driving home. You guys saw a little sneak peek of the car and I'm kinda just gonna leave it at that. The car still needs a lot more work. We're gonna end up wet sanding and buffing the entire car. Uh, just to make it look that much nicer. We're gonna end, uh, we still got a lot of trim to put on the car. Now it's just waiting on the hood. We're gonna do the hood pins. Shout out to Frank for helping. Uh, he helped so much. 
you know, with painting and making sure that I did everything right. And the car ended up turning out really, really nice. So I'm super happy with the way the car has turned out. I've been driving down the road and I've been getting people looking left and right at me. So that's what we're gonna end today's video, guys. And I'm gonna really try to start bringing back the content and really start pushing out the content now that the EG is starting to pretty much almost get done and be finished. And we're really excited about that. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. See you later.